What is up? So today I'm going to be doing a huge collective bikini try on haul. I bought a bunch of bikinis yesterday and the day before, so I thought it'd be a fun video to do a huge collective try on haul for you guys. Spring is here and summer is coming. Usually I do fashion videos on this channel, so if you guys love fashion videos, then hit that subscribe button. Also, I'm doing a prom giveaway, so go check that video out. And also don't forget to hit the bell notification so you guys are notified every single time that I post a video. But without any further ado, let's get into the bikinis. Alright, so I'm going to start off with the new bikinis and then go into the old ones. I have a bunch of bikinis for you guys, so this is about to be a long video. Okay, we're ready. We're ready. <laughs> first bikini is from Fashion Nova because I love Fashion Nova. This is my first time buying a bikini from Fashion Nova, so I just got this white bikini. It's like high rise on the side so it cuts up really high but there's one in black but I just got the white because I feel like white looks really good on my skin complexion and then on the back it like dips down low and it's super cheeky makes your butt look great I got so many compliments with this and then on the side it also shows a little side boobs unfortunately it's not adjustable I hate when they make bikinis not adjustable and there's no padding. Well, so I did tie in the back. So the next one is a similar one to the white ones. It's just this black bikini. This is from PacSun and you're, not PacSun, sorry. This is from Garage and Garage, like their bikinis and their stuff are usually expensive. Pretty sure this was, I have a tag. I think it was like $40, but I got 25% off. And it has little paddings in it, which is nice. I love the paddings. It's actually really good like material. It's definitely better than the Fashion Nova material. And then on the back, it like it has adjustable straps, which is perfect. It doesn't have any side boobs. And then the straps, it has this like one little strap right here, and then it crisscrosses. So it kind of has like a cool little design in the back, cool little strappy design, you know? So on to Victoria's Secret. Like I said, Victoria's Secret had really bad bikinis, and last year they had really cute bikinis, so I was very surprised. So I got this bikini. I love this bikini. This is also adjustable. Come on, everyone needs adjustable bikini straps. Like, don't make bikinis with no padding and no adjustable straps. No. Anyway, so it has like these little crisscross on the front. I think it's a little too much. Like I think it's way too much. Like they put way too many straps. So I'm gonna cut it to like this. Like look at that, that looks 10 times better, honey. Like what? Yes. So I'm gonna cut like four straps so it looks really cute. It's adjustable and then it doesn't really dip down low. And this was $30. It's a size small and I didn't see any other sizes. So Forever 21 had pretty cute bikinis but you know how that be when people see bikini season at Forever 21, people be snatch, 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 snatch. So almost everything was gone. But I did see this really cute, like what? Girl, I have such good taste in like bikinis, like <laughs> what? I'm such a big like one piece person, but I promise there's two pieces. So if you're not a big one piece, girl, I got you. Don't worry, it's coming. Be patient. Anyways, but this is really cute. It has padding, bless the heart, bless the soul, bless everything, bless Forever 21. I can't remember how much this was. It was $24.90, which wasn't too bad, especially since like the other bikinis. I think Fashion Nova bikini was like $30. Garage was $30, and then Victoria's Secret was $30. So Forever 21, you, you know what to do. So this was $24, and it has like a little dip low. The next bikini is this yellow bikini, and I'm gonna show you why I bought yellow this soup. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. can you talk no bit? The next bikini is this yellow bikini. I had a yellow bikini before from Zoffel, but I had to replace it because Zoffel is za awful because I do not like Zoffel. Zoffel is awful, okay? So, yeah. Yeah. I had to get a yellow bikini to replace the Zoffel bikini that I'm gonna show you guys in a little bit. So, it's just this one piece. I got this from PacSun. How much was this? Girl, you ain't know this is your mommy. 
it was $49.95. So it was basically $50, but don't worry, girl. I ain't trying to pay $50 for a bikini. Mm -mm. It was like 30% off, so do the math. It was not $50 that time. <laughs> I can tell you that. It's just like this little V cutout. This material is so weird. It's, it's very weird. It feels like a t-shirt, but it isn't. So it's like tied, and then I guess you can... I guess I don't really like that because if someone's trying to be stupid and they just undo, mm, I will slap a person. First thing that I got from Zaw Awful is this top. I'm gonna wear this with shorts in the try on the portion because the bottoms, they don't even fit anything. I don't know, honey. They're, I don't know what they be doing, but Zaw Awful is Zaw Awful, okay? So I only am keeping the top, so the top is just like this cami top, and it's so weird, because look at this. Like, it rises in the back. Even when you try it on, it rises. And I try to fix the adjustable strap, it still does that. It's just weird stitching, I don't know. But I think this pink bikini is cute. I want to replace it, so I want to like another pink bikini and then sell it on my Poshmark. By the way, I'm going to do a Poshmark very soon, so I'm going to be selling a lot of these uh, awful bikinis, but I feel like some people won't mind and some people will actually like it, but I'm really picky with bikinis, so I don't like it. Now the bottoms, honey, who thought this? Who, like, I don't know, but like, it's a no-no, so... Yeah, it ties in the sides, which I don't like because, you know, someone's about to be stupid and, like, untie it. But it's so cheeky, like, to the point where it's basically a thong. So I'm not going to wear this in the try portion because mm, we're, not, we're not trying to do that, like, no. So the next Zoffel bikini that I got, this one I actually like. I just needed bottoms for these because the bottoms were, like crazy small and this is a medium honey this top it's cute it's cute my mom loves it i love the color of it i love the seashells it's really cute perfect for the summer um it looks really small when i hold it but it fits me really nicely um and then i have the medium bottoms medium bottoms where honey where because this is not medium this is extra 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 small because i'm telling you it did not fit anywhere so i'm about to throw this away but i just think it's a really nice pattern like look at this it's so cute like what is it <sighs> and the last is awful bikini so i threw away the bottoms of this one because it it was just horrible so it's the same thing as a pink one it also has that little weird stitching problems padding and adjustable but yeah i mean it's perfect to just wear with like this top and like shorts these are my old bikinis that i still love so there's this one, this is a top. It's like a simple top, it's whatever. It has this little cool print on it and a little cage detailing. And then it straps in the back like that. And then it hooks in the back also. So this is a nice just top, it's simple, whatever. These are my favorite bottoms. I will die for these bottoms. I will never sell these bottoms until I can't ever wear them, until I'm 60, okay? <laughs> These bottoms are the best bottoms in the whole entire world. And I don't know how much I paid for this because it was like maybe two years ago. So this is what I'm going to be selling on my Poshmark. Let me show you guys really quick. It's this bikini. I think this is such a cute bikini, but just not my style anymore. So it just like this elephant print right here. So adorable. That is a top and then the bottoms look like this. And it has like little braided detailing on the bottoms. So my puppy just joined our little video. So here he is. Anyways, so my camera died once again, so let's just get into it again. So next bikini that I got is this really fun bikini. Fashion Media actually sponsored me in my last channel, my old channel. So this was free, so I have no idea how much this was. I love the colors of this, and it has this really cool detailing, like cutouts throughout the whole bikini, and then also on the back, you can see that. And it's not cheeky at all, which is perfect. One thing I don't like about it is that I have to safety pin it because it's a little bit loose. And then this bikini was so old. I think I got this in high school. This is like one of my first bikinis. My first time buying a bikini without my mom. So you know this is a really old bikini. This is probably freshman year of high school and it still fits. It's still really cute. It's just this vibrant color. It's so cool. Matte like 
There was a matching bottom sweaties and then there was these, which are neons. I don't know if it'll come up neon on camera, but it's super neon. And I think this is perfect for like a night swim, which I'll probably never do, but like a night swimsuit party. Mm, I have high expectations for my life because that would never happen to me, but I think this is really cool for that bikini because it's like neon, so it's, I don't know, it would just fit that vibe. And then this one is actually my mom's, but I think this is perfect. I think everyone should have a bikini where it covers everything and it's very conservative. So the first one I'm going to show you that's really conservative and covers everything. This is perfect. This is something I would wear if I was going to the beach with my boyfriend family we'll see if that ever happens but it's coming i have faith in my life high expectations it's there hopefully maybe maybe not but um <laughs> i definitely think i want you to have a bikini or something to wear when you're like with a conservative family or just with someone that you just don't feel like wearing something like too sexy this is I'm pretty sure I got this in high school also. It still fits. It's my favorite, probably my favorite bikini. I will love this bikini to death. And then the next swimsuit that I have, it's not like 100% conservative because it does have like a V cut out, so it does show a little bit of cleavage, but it does cover my stomach and the bottoms does cover my whole butt. So that's nice. And it just looks like this. It's just pink and brown. And then the bottoms look like this. Okay, so that was everything for this video. That was all my bikinis. Yes! 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 I'm so surprised my mom didn't say what the hell that, that was because that was my remote that fell down. Okay. Yes! Okay, we're done. So yeah, that was everything. That was all my collective bikinis. That's all the bikinis I have. Let me know which one was your three favorites. And also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification. And I shall see you guys later. Bye, guys. Mwah.